So let's get started with the example that we want to talk about. It is about project selection. Jobs and Pharma, a pharmaceutical company, is exploring the usefulness of a modified vitamin E they had developed to treat the following three ailments, Alzheimer, breast cancer, and arthritis. If the tests are successful, then they would conduct full-scale tests in year two. They have limited resources and hence can work only on one of these three projects. Just as background information, the objective is to determine the specificity of the drug, which is a measure of the drug's efficacy. Basically, how good the drug is for treating the targeted disease. We have the necessary revenue information. As you can see, the preliminary test costs are 1.1 million, 1.4 million, or rather 0.9 million. And here are the probabilities of success of these tests. And the subsequent investments are shown here. The average revenue and the likelihood or the probability of achieving that is shown in this table here. We also have the pot potential for above average revenue and of course below average revenue. The question is on which product should the company focus? Here we have the model already built. Which project? Alzheimer, breast cancer or arthritis in terms of pre-test of course remember. And here are the probabilities of success 30%, 50% and 70%. And under this scenario one would actually go after arthritis testing. But remember these are assumed numbers, these probabilities and there is a high degree of uncertainty about this. We just needed to start with some numbers that are reasonable. And of course on this side you'll see the potential for generating revenue if we conduct the sub subsequent test. Right. And of course as before the scroll bars, the red is just the 30% probability here, the 50% is with the blue. And if we go to the zone map, we will see the arthritis pre-test is actually locked in at 70% for the moment. We can certainly move it further and you will see the triple point moving away. The diamond pointer tells us if we have a 30% success level for Alzheimer and a 50% success level for breast cancer, we should focus on arthritis pre-test. If we start moving towards a higher level of breast cancer success, you will see that we need to move over to breast cancer pre-testing. So this is very important because it really allows us to study how much error we can tolerate. This distance and this distance actually reflects the tolerance level we have with those assumptions. In other words, we assume 30%. Even if we get to 55%, we are still safe in working on arthritis pretest. So, as you can see, this is a truly very powerful tool. It can be used, in, as in this case, for project selection.